As I played Honkai Star Rail more and more, I realized that I couldn't escape something that has been on the back burner for a while now. Something so prevalent in the game's meta that I just had to cave in and finally take the initiative to obtain. But before I get into that, ladies and gents, please consider subscribing to the channel. I have loads of videos planned that I want all of you along for the journey. Anyways, back onto the topic at hand. The thing that I needed the most is a preservation character. Boy, were the preservation characters in this game really, and I mean really good. There are so many good options that I just couldn't decide on who to go for. I did have a slight issue that I just couldn't avoid. Timing. This game is all about timing. Well, sort of. Especially when it comes to obtaining characters in this game. All the limited characters come and go in the wave of banners that are in the game for a limited amount of time. Whenever the timer is up for said banner, a new one comes and takes its place. And the old banner is never seen again until a rerun comes along. All the four stars that are in the banner are changed and the five star it remains the only thing that is the same. I entered the game a long time ago, a few weeks after the game has officially released. I got my favorite character Kafka and I was pleasantly surprised and happy. However, I really didn't stick to the game and left for a while. And by a while, I mean months have passed. Further in, I finally got back into the game and oh boy. Was it an experience getting all the characters leveled up, my accounts level up, the relics, the simulated universe, the whatever else, the memory of chaos. I was in such a high for content within the game that I just wanted to play more. And that's what I did. Then I saw all the cool characters releasing back to back to back from Black Swan to Sparkle to Acheron, all of which I wanted pretty badly. One character I just did not care for. One character that, to me, felt kind of out of place. Adventuring. To me, he didn't look cool as some of the other male characters in the game, such as Dr. Ratio. Even main character I felt was a little bit cooler. And as we all know, Dr. Ratio was free. Oh, I got him. I was pretty content. I was content in skipping Adventuring. And in exchange, I would get a different preservation carry. One that isn't Jeopard. Because, wow, is Jeopard the most dull character in the game? He's so straightforward, it's kind of just boring. Anyways, <clears throat> and because Fush One was around the corner, I just felt like he he just wasn't the one for me. So I was really considering going for Fush One over Aventurine to complement my Nihility team a little bit more. Almost an all Electro team, so that would have been cool. But then, something happened. I played the Trail Blaze quest. I played it to its entirety. Now, I will try to avoid all the spoilers because it's still somewhat fresh to some of you guys, but I witnessed Aventurine and learned much more about him as a character. I do realize this is probably the standpoint in which Honkai Star Rail is trying to sell me a character and let me tell you, he did a fantastic job. <laughs> about his past, that was pretty much what it was. It, the Trailblaze quest was about his past, about why he did certain things and why he is weak. His characteristics started to make sense and I started to waver on whether or not I wanted Fush One after all. I didn't even care for her as a character that much, other than the fact that she summons a black hole in her animation and I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. Then it hit me. The sudden realization that Aventurine is actually a pretty awesome character locked behind a facade of an annoying prick. So there I was, looking at my remaining stellar jades. And I have reached a decision that I would acquire Aventurine at all costs. An Aventurine acquire, I did. In fact, this is the Aventurine way to gamble. <laughs> in any case, I did everything in my power from one summon to the next, from one chest to the next, 
and I have finally did it. I got it. And now I have all the time to build the preservation character I was missing all this time. And apparently, he's a good one. And maybe a really good one too, from the content I've seen on the tubes. I'm glad I got him as my preservation character. My one and only. In fact, yes, I am still avoiding Jeopard. Now, I do have to do a lot of trailblaze power farming from his relics and leveling up his talents and his weapons and his... Did I say talents? I definitely meant traces. In any case, he's not looking too hot. And I actually have a complaint about his relics. Why are his best in slot relics not this one? This the one that I'm currently using? This one is legitimately his outfit. That is a pet peeve right there. But I'll be okay, I think. Maybe, possibly. Okay. The, the game, Honkai Star Rail, is really fun. And I'm really excited to get my account leveled up and try my best to get up there so I can try one of the harder contents. Because this game is actually kind of difficult once you move on to the harder content. You actually have to, you know, really prioritize team building and prioritize you know getting the proper relics proper weapons and whatnot uh, so you can beat the tougher game modes within the game and there is a lot of like final end game content which i feel like is an amazing thing for this game not a lot of like kitchen effect uh, other games have that so i'm really excited to i just simply i'm having a hard time i'm having a hard time building my characters and i don't know i don't know what it is i think it's just my personal characters the ones i currently have are just not suitable i don't know but i think i need to really bring my a game and try my best better at building these teams and building my characters so i can finally do these difficult things and make content on it i'm having an absolute blast with this game and i'm really excited to get back on it after arlecchino has been released and i did my content on that part so uh i am i'm back i'm back to doing this type of content so anyway that was my preservation character experience in honkai star rail hopefully you enjoyed if you like this type of content let me know in the comment section as well as like this video subscribe to the channel as well share it with your peers and stay tuned to all things Genshin or Star Rail and other things related. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye bye.